So I think confidence, confidence is the most crucial thing that you can ever have in your life to achieve anything that you set your mind to. I mean, when you have a real unbreakable self-confidence within yourself, you're going to be brave enough to go after your biggest dreams and you won't allow a single negative voice to stop you from where you are heading. Also, when you have high self-esteem, you're going to live a happier, more fulfilled life because you're going to know yourself very well. You know your abilities very well. So in this video, I'm just going to talk about that, building unbreakable self-confidence and self-esteem. And by the way, I have did all of the things that I'm going to tell you in this video and I'm really proud that I did those things because they really made me who I am today. I believe in myself. I believe in my abilities. I bravely go after what I want. And most importantly, I have a growth mindset. I'm still learning and growing as a person. So now we know how self-confidence and self-esteem are really important. Now let's start discussing about those things that you can do to build them up. Number one, have a healthy relationship with your past. You see, one of the most confidence killers that you can ever do is to think of your past and identify that with your present self. For example, let's say you had an awkward childhood or you got bullied when you were in middle school. And now you think of that past experience and you identify that with your present self. You literally yourself because of that experience you see when you're doing that you're attaching your present self with that past self which is already gone and every time you do that you're killing your confidence so take this seriously right i want you to have a real conversation with yourself about your past experiences and just write down a list of things that you think that they might be holding you back and treat those last situations with compassion right this is the real key thing here with compassion with love don't resist them. Just write them and know that it is okay to make mistakes. It is okay to mess up. And then just close that path, all right? Learn your lesson, you know, apply what you have learned, take action and everything else, just ignore that. All right, number two, change your self-image. This one is so crucial. Like every little detail about you is kept in your self-image. It is like a blueprint of your life. Your self-image is the way you perceive yourself, the way you see yourself inside out. And as the name implies, self-image, it is the image that you have inside your head. And if you wanna build your confidence, there's no better way but to focus on your self-image because that's gonna change you from your core. And the easiest way to do that is to change your inner self-talk and back it up with evidence. For example, you want to change your self-image. You want to change your self-image to someone that is confident, courageous, like a leader. So what is the evidence? Your subconscious mind doesn't like it when you're lying. So show it the evidence. You want to be someone that is courageous? All right, what are you doing that a courageous person does? You want to change your self-image to someone that is confident? What are you doing that you can rely on to feel confident about yourself? Faking it won't get you anywhere. So achieve things, work on yourself, create a to-do list and cross off everything, work on your goals. And then when you start talking to yourself positively, your mind is not going to resist that because you have evidence. Imagine saying I am confident when all day you're doing nothing but just watching the TV and eating junk food. But it is better to say I'm confident when you wake up in the morning and work out and crush every single project because your mind is going to be like, hell yeah, this guy, this guy is walking the talk. And the positive words that you're telling yourself are going to be reprogrammed into your subconscious mind really fast. So as I said in the beginning, we're trying to build a confidence that is unbreakable by anyone, right? So we have to build it on something that is actually unbreakable. So what is it? Strong ego. Now, yes, it seems like something bad, like ego, strong ego. But ego is simply the identity that we have about ourselves. That self-image that I told you, the self-perception. And some people have a strong ego and some people have a weak ego. The only difference is the people that have strong egos have did something before that made them realize how great they are. Winning trophies being number one, achieving something that people would call impossible. So growing up, one of the best things that built my confidence was studying hard and studying first in my class. Like I would just run first the whole year. And I've got a lot of prizes from my school for my achievements. And as I got older, I started working on my body and I'm really proud of that. But that builds my confidence because now I stand out from the crowd. But the point is, strong egos are made from effort. As I said, you cannot fake your way to confidence. So build a strong ego. Go through some challenges and win over them. Start being better at your school. Work out and have a better body. I'm telling you, the confidence that you're going to have through excellence is unbreakable. All right, number four, don't try to force confidence. So there's a law called the Bakers law, which means you're not going to get the things that you really try hard to get. Instead, you should just relax and assume that it is yours and it will come to pass. So let's say you are in a social situation and you're feeling unconfident. And you're trying to fake it like you're trying to look confident. That is resistance. And as I always say, what you resist persists. So when you start feeling of yourself your mind is talking negative don't fight it don't do anything instead be aware of it and observe every little thought that goes through your head and realize not every thought is true so when these thoughts start to come disprove them with evidence so you start feeling that you're not good enough don't fight with it don't resist it but just disprove it with evidence so for example you might say i'm good enough for this job because i've been training for the past six months and learning as much as i can i've been working hard for this i'm gonna beat my competition because i am prepared like you see that is evidence as i said your subconscious mind doesn't like it when you're lying so show it some evidence to those limiting beliefs. All right, last one for today. Avoid people who disrespect you. Those people who love to make you feel bad about yourself, knowingly or unknowingly. So be aware of those people. If there is someone that is making you feel that way in your life, it is time to say goodbye, good luck. Definitely, cut out people that are not adding value to your life. Hope you enjoyed this video. I really appreciate you watching it. Thanks for watching. Ciao.